Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're back at it again with another video. And today we're actually doing a half up, half down, quick weave edition. Now, before we get started, I'm going to need you guys to click that button right there. You know, the one that says subscribe. Yes, that one. Click it. Okay. Thank you. We can continue now. Um, so right now you guys see me just like parting out her hair. Two thirds of her hair is basically going to be braids and one third is going to be the actual ponytail. I feel like that's the best way I could really describe it to you guys as far as ratio. Um, the reason why I say two-thirds of her head is going to be for the braids because you you want to stuff in as much hair as you can in the back, like a full two bundles of hair. So you can have that volume. Sometimes I have clients ask me like, oh, how much hair should I add? I mean, how much hair do I need for a half up, half down? I'm like, you need three bundles. You need three bundles. Why would you use one bundle in the back and one bundle for your ponytail? That's going to look thin. So we're going to use three bundles, two for the back and one for the actual ponytail. Sometimes you don't even use a full bundle. It just depends on where you get the hair from for the ponytail. So yeah, um, things that I did before we started the sectioning is that you want to straighten their leave out the i mean the part that's going to be for the ponytail you want to make sure that part is straightened and if you don't know how to do that then you can watch my other video where i did um the bubble ponytail that was a very descriptive video on how i sleeked up that ponytail so you can watch that but yeah this is my cousin her hair was already straightened so i didn't have to do any of that but yeah, so now I'm going to continue parting out her hair and uh, we're going to speed through this and next step is the braiding. Okay, guys, I apologize. I honestly did not know the video was showing this dim, but um, I guess because I was relying on natural light, but as the video continues, it's going to get lighter. I think I put like an extra light on. You'll be able to see properly. But so this part is self-explanatory. Um, you're just going to braid down the back. Um, I did six braids. You don't have to do six braids. You could do less braids if you want. The thinner your hair is, the less braids you have to do. If your hair is on the thicker side, you might want to do six braids so it's not too bulky. And yeah, we're just going to continue to braid her hair down and I'll show you guys the next step. <laughs> Okay, so we're at the next step and basically you're going to get a wig cap, put the wig cap on their head, poke a hole where the ponytail part is. Um, you don't have to, but I find it lays flatter when you do that. And I just showed you guys the product that I'm using. I'm going to put a picture on the side because I honestly don't remember the name of this thing. I never remember the name, 
but they have it in clear so if you have like blonde hair you can use the clear but they also have it in black um you don't have to get this big bottle they have like a sample size well yeah like a smaller size for five dollars that's fine i just want you to put like a heavy coat um you already have the wig cap as a barrier now this is an extra barrier it can be removed with water so when you're ready to remove this install you're gonna wash your hair like you're gonna start shampooing and the, the tracks are gonna start sliding off so yeah just put this all over where the braids are and you don't have to dry it with a dryer you can actually dry it with a hand dryer but i had a dryer so i was like why not <music> So this part you basically guys just see me cutting the cap off the perimeter of the braid and she was under the dryer for 20 minutes um and yep we're about to just go right into the ponytail okay so first things first get your beeswax there's two different beeswax they have the light one and the hard one i use the hard one if your hair is really really fine then you can use the light one but i like the hard one because it has like a little grip and i'm usually working with kinkier hair um you want to take like a fine tooth comb scoop up some beeswax not too much start off in the middle i started off doing it all the way all all around because i'm used to doing this but if you're a beginner start off in the middle go section by section once you put the beeswax then you're gonna spray your gots to be spray don't you know the stuff in the yellow can you're gonna spray your gots to be spray and you're gonna harden it you're gonna harden it you're gonna make it hard with the blow dryer and you're gonna use hot air you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna do like a smoothing motion as you're blowing. Once it's stiff, then you go to your next section. Now, directly like by the leave out, like the back part of your ponytail, I don't stiffen that part. Just so it can have like a little wiggle. Like I feel like when the whole ponytail part is stiff, like sometimes your ponytail feels tight. So after you do this whole molding process, you may not you may need to take out that rubber band and like regather it up. So sometimes I just like gather it up with the ponytail holder and then gather it again after it's been molded to grip everything neatly. Okay, next step. <laughs> preparing for the baby hairs you know y'all love some baby hairs now um some people actually cut their hair to make baby hairs i did that i didn't ask her i just kind of did it but if you want the look like you gotta get the look if that's what you gotta do that's what you gotta do but um yeah so take your half inch flat iron and you're gonna do that new arrogant hay method that everybody's doing come on we all know we got it from arrogant hay you're gonna take your half inch curling iron and you're gonna curl your baby hairs and you're gonna use that gossipy spray and you're gonna start scooping and swooping basically you're making like c-shaped swoops so uh c-shaped swoop there c-shaped swoop there make your little circles and i'm gonna be honest with you guys this does not really last it does not last so you have to learn how to do your baby hairs if you want the look you have to learn how to do your baby hairs what i can say is you can use gossipy gel but that's gonna be a, a more crispier look um this is a softer effect that's why people like it and also you can keep redoing it because you're not like, you know, the gossipy spray kind of wears off, so you can do it daily. It's personal preference, honestly. But, yeah, it was a video, so I decided I was going to do my baby hairs. And she was going to look real cute. And, yeah, just keep watching to see how I formed all of the baby hair action.
All right, so you want to make sure that you tie your edges down. I always use like wrapping paper, the black one. Always use the black one. It's stronger than the white ones. Um, and you're going to start placing your tracks. So you could start off with doing the U shape or you could start off straight across. If you start off straight across, then just do like two straight across and then start making your U shape pattern. Now the U shape pattern is going to, okay, the reason why I started off straight across is because her hairline was like real low at the bottom. So I didn't want to start off with my U too low. But the the reason why you're going to do a U-shaped pattern is because it's going to make the hair fall forward. You're going to do the U. It's kind of like when you're making a wig. It's kind of how you're gluing the tracks. So continue like curving it on the sides like in a U-shape. And when you get closer to the top, you're gonna then you're going to start going straight across. Now that your ponytail is braided, you want to make sure your braid isn't too thick. If your hair is long, then you can like double it and like put a rubber band around it. Um, the length of that braid, that's how long your braid should be. Unless your braid is really skinny, then you can do a longer braid. And you're going to wrap it around with your black wrapping paper. Now, if you're using some cheap hair, you could go ahead and glue that, glue that hoe, okay? I hate like stitching the bundle around. I mean, I honestly do it the same amount of time that I do the glue around, but I don't know, it's just something about stitching the freaking bundle around the braided ponytail is annoying to me. But I mean, if you have good hair, then you might want to stitch it so that way you could reuse it. I could reuse glue tracks. I will still stitch a glue track, but hey. Anyway, we're gluing today. It's a quick weave. We ain't got to do all that hard work. So yeah, glue your tracks around and don't double, don't double the tracks. You just need to single it around. Don't OD, put mad hair. Then it's going to like weigh your ponytail down. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be tight. It's going to start hurting your head. So try to be lightweight with the ponytail. Okay. Like don't OD. Don't OD. All right. Once you've wrapped your bundle around or, you know, a good portion, like three-fourths of the bundle, whatever you think is necessary, you're going to take a strand of hair from the back of the ponytail, spray got to be spray, smooth it out with a fine tooth comb first, then you're going to wrap it around the base. As you're wrapping it around, you're going to be uh, drying it with the dryer. Okay, as you can see, I'm doing it right here at this part. Yeah, you're going to be um, drying it with the dryer with hot air and spray some more spray. Keep wrapping. Yeah, just keep watching the video. And I hope you guys subscribe. If you guys didn't subscribe, you need to go ahead and subscribe now so I can make more videos for you guys.
came out guys it came out real cute my cousin loved it she was literally begging me to do her hair for like weeks and I was like all right I gotta make a YouTube video so you're gonna be my model and I got you but if you guys try it let me know tag me on Instagram underscore snob society underscore make sure you follow follow my personal page Corinna Benna underscore underscore and leave some comments let me know what other hair videos you guys want me to make i hope i broke it down simple enough for you guys um and yeah thank you for watching i left some clips of you know her little snapchat and yeah see you next time bye <laughs>